Knights of the Great Legion, this is Master Max Edit 8, and welcome to another Max Reacts. For this one, I'm finally gonna be taking a look at the latest Hell of a Boss episode. This one is episode 4 of season 2, and it is simply titled Western Energy. I've somehow managed to stay away from spoilers so there's nothing that has been spoiled to me i don't know anything at all about this episode and to be fair it wasn't all that difficult for me to stay away from spoilers i've just been away from the internet in general as of late i've been incredibly sick dealing with a pneumonia and a fever so that just really took me away from things like i explain in a previous update i put up on my channel some of you might have seen that so anyway all that to say I know nothing about this episode. I really know nothing at all, and uh, that's probably for the best. Everything is going to be a complete surprise to me. And all I can say is, I hope it's going to be better than the third episode of Season 2. I was really critical of Episode 3. Some of you didn't appreciate that too much. Some of you hardcore fans of Hell of a Boss didn't appreciate the fact that I was, I was definitely harsh when it comes to episode 3. I think they went overboard with the sex jokes, and I understand Hell of a Boss is all about <clears throat> those kind of jokes, right? It's it's just got that type of humor to it, but um, I feel like it was overwhelming in episode 3. It was just sex jokes, sex jokes, sex jokes. It just wouldn't stop. So, hopefully, they kind of tone it down a little bit in episode 4. Not too much, because I understand, once again, believe me, I get it. A lot of fans bring up every time, well, it's hell of a bus, what do you expect? I get it, alright? I get that the sex jokes are a big part of this, big part of the series, but good lord, episode 3 laid it on thick. I mean, it was just non-stop, dude, non-stop. So, I'm expecting bigger, better things with episode 4. And uh, I'm really optimistic about it. I'm really, really optimistic. I feel like we're in for something good, for something great. And um, yeah, that's that's my mindset going into this. I expect a banger of an episode, so let's get to it. From the thumbnail alone, I'm guessing it has to do with Stryker. Like, we see Stryker in it, so we'll see the, the return of Stryker, who is still voiced by Norman Reedus? Or did they go for a different voice actor here? I guess I'll find out. I guess I'll find out. But, uh, yeah, I'm a big fan of Norman, so it'd be good to see him again. But I would totally understand if they couldn't get him on board um, for other episodes. I mean, he's a, he's a busy, busy man. So um, I guess I'll find out. Like I said, everything about this is a mystery, and everything will be a surprise to me. So let's get into this. And uh, there's, there's the warning once again. If any of those things are offensive to you, might not be uh, wanting want to watch this. Stella. All right. Which? All right. That... <clears throat> Why did you insist on making? That's a new character right there. Ahem, in the middle of them. to properly discuss the terms of this divorce. This one here. I feel my Don't recall seeing him before. a bit more compensation. <laughs> After all, you did cheat on the poor thing. Surely you owe. And Drillfus. Cheating implies and there was a betrayal. This woman never gave two shits about me or our Doesn't very quite roll off the tongue, marriage. That name. As far as I'm concerned, this divorce is far overdue. Up yours. Stella, for fuck's sake, stop making this harder to bullshit. Suddenly striker. <laughs> Yeah, this is worrisome. <laughs> Quite the understatement there. Stole this. It's really not a good time, buddy. I'm sorry, it's a bad time yet again. Is Luna gonna talk I'm, again? I seem to have found myself in a bit of a sitch. Been a while since we had anything Luna. <laughs> lucky bitch. Um, well, no. Rather unlucky. I seem to have been stolen by that little cowboy friend of yours. Oh, uh, which one? How many cowboys do you know? What does he look like, your highness? Sexy? That's Striker, sir. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, can't you just get away? Aren't you powerful? I believe he has me bound with. I'm sorry, but like, 
he, he instantly knew. It's like, okay, sexy cowboy, only striker. Only striker. It's got to be. All the other cowboys are ugly as fuck. So it's only striker for sure. Kind of unfair to the other cowboys. Blessing honestly. Rope, which Just limits my really unjust to, to myself, them. I'm afraid. So I think you should come save me. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Stolas, I can't today. All right, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm literally on my way to take Luna in for her. Very important. Helby's S-H-O-T. Baby shot? It takes years to book an appointment at this place. It took five for me to get this one. So, you know, and, and she's been doing a lot of field work. So, you know, she needs it. Oh, oh is, that, is that why she doesn't I talk? I agree. That is very important. But I... Did you shut up already? I can hear you, by the way. Okay, different voice actor. Don't worry about your lanky birdie. He's in good hands. Norman is, um... Oh, shit. <sighs> He's got Am one. Got a different right one. Now? God damn it. More threatening. I would say, like, this new voice actor sounds a bit more threatening. There! Let me and Moxie handle this one. Okay, are you too sure that you got this alone? We can do it, sir. Together, we are a lethal combo. And we both have a score to settle with that dickhead. All right, well, hurry. Solo sounds like he might be in real shit this time. And knowing that guy's aesthetic, my money's that he's in wrath. Now get your asses down there and look for some cowboy crap or something. Well... Goodbye, Luna. Come on, Looney. Come on, this will be over. Lick and he split, all right? Or, actually, no, we get more of her. For him to get his stupid feathered ass kidnapped. I have waited five fucking years for this appointment. Fuck me in my little red hole. I'd rather not. Right, the fuck you looking at? Hey, it's I'm here for that uh, S H O T for my Looney <laughs> Tooney. <laughs> The what? Ugh, the B U L L shit. Looney Tooney. That my daughter has to get every year that U M O T H E R fuckers only allow us to schedule every five years. How the fuck you fuck up that bad anyway, titty haver? Oh, I can't spell. I can't read either. The hell bees shot, you fucking really can't say that word can't anymore. Can't say that you word anymore. Nah. <laughs> I would have to censor it. You can't say that shit on YouTube. With an O. It's silent, you fucking... Oh, or in general, oh. actually. Oh, right here. Yep, yep. Probably shouldn't Blitzo. say it. Blitzo. Blitzo. Yes, well, we will be ready for her in just a bit. Please take a seat, Mr. O. Perf. Oh, don't worry, Looney. It's okay. It's just one little prick. You won't feel it. Ew, don't say that. It sounds vulgar. Excuse this me, is... Herbert. This is so weird. Seeing Luna like this? That's just uncanny to me, man. Like... Oh, okay. Sorry. Music time. I was just gonna say, like, usually when we see Luna, she's like a badass. Or an edge lord. So it's weird seeing her like this. He's Striker. Sure shooting darn tootin'. His name is Striker. I'm definitely loving this episode so far. I'm loving it a lot more than episode three. He's very good at causing pain. And he loves to ride on the choo choo. He's a villain striker. He's fast and strong and tall and mean. The foulest imp you've ever seen. He'd break your bones to hear him crunch. He likes to eat that paper lunch. He's striker. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's striker. He striker. likes to eat pate for lunch. Shut the fuck up! I'm trying to do my fucking job. You coming in here singing about me for the millionth fucking time? Leave me the hell alone, you freaks! That's how you know he's a real how badass. Does one get their own theme song? Only the toughest SOBs oh. eat patty for lunch. Yeah, nice weather we're having, huh? Look, mommy, they let fire toads in here. The fuck did you just call me? It's not polite to call them that to their face, honey. Wait until we're in the car. You got a problem with me? <laughs> there is a child present, you filthy Rathian. And oh, what are they supposed to be? Bitch. Also, my kid's here too, and I don't think she would appreciate you calling her father things. 
Is there any way we can reschedule for a time when less of the unemployed rabble are out? Oh, please. I bet the hardest work you ever done is convincing your husband that little shit's his. Oh, yeah? And what do you do that's so important? Me? Oh, <laughs> I kill people. How does a two-for-one special sound, whore? Mr. Owl, the doc will see your hound now. <laughs> I'll grab the gas, Millie. Go I still can't get over Luna being like this. That's so, so weird. Hey, queer boy! You stealing my hat? What? Same hat! Oh, sorry, my wife just put this hat on my head. You know, because it was hot outside. Uh, same hat. <sighs> so we're doing this, huh? Howdy, boy! Y'all seen this motherfucker riding around here? No! No, no! And just a yes or no, please. Yeah, he lives out by the bad man lands in the old train tunnel. Near so, the mine shaft. Mux is finally standing up for himself. That, that's not something you see too often. Like, Millie's been protecting him in almost every episode, it feels like. Thank you kindly. Come on, Mox, we got a lead. Uh, breath of fresh air. Breath of fresh air to see Moxie just whooping asses for once. We don't we don't see that often enough. So, my wife paid you for this, hmm? Wouldn't a holy bullet have sufficed? Or could you not afford those? I was paid to give you the real royal treatment. Your wife must really hate you. <laughs> you have no idea. So, train tracks? Really? Seems a bit cliche, doesn't it? It's a classic. Is the giant statue of yourself also a classic, or...? <laughs> Are you seriously judging me right now? I am just impressed. You seem to want to suck your own dick this badly. Look, not every ring is some fancy-ass city with some fancy-ass match that only fancy-ass royals get to live in. Some of us have hard lives to live, and some of us have everything we care about Taken away by fuckers like you. I have no. You don't get to talk over me. I don't have to listen to your bullshit. All the royals of Damn. try to talk over us. Don't bother trying your little eye trick on me. Those ropes ain't gonna let you do anything. I swear if they kill Striker in this episode, I'm gonna be so upset. They're really establishing a threatening gagger here. They gotta keep them. Blitz handles me rougher than that in bed. Nice try. Blitzy's knife is bigger and hits so much deeper. Being a smart ass, hmm? Because once I split your neck open and let you choke on your own blue blood, you won't be worth any more than the tombstone you'll be buried under. Blitzy says far dirtier things to me with much sharper objects at my throat. And just like that, Striker is like my third favorite character. <laughs> if not higher, actually, man. Welcome, like, Bingo. Holy shit. And this must be Tuna. I'm Luna. really yeah, impressed with Striker. She's a fan of shots, so let's try and make this quick. This for is all of our sakes. Oh, giving me a whole now. newfound appreciation. It can't be that bad. I see hellhounds every day, and there hasn't been one that has caused any issue. Yep, right there. Told you, dipshit. So, earlier, that assassin... Was that you? Mm, guilty, yes, it was. You silly minx, you. <laughs> Though, you know... If your husband dies, it won't turn out well for you. He'll be dead! Why wouldn't it? Because, my dear sister, you've already produced an heir. When he dies, his duties, his possessions, his allegiance, it will all pass to Via. So, if you kill him, you His will... legions. Hmm? Laugh? <laughs> Wouldn't want that. No, you stupid cow! You get nothing! Oh, you're so lucky you're attractive. Oh, 
Well, what do you propose we do? He won't leave me anything willingly. He hates me almost as much as I hate him. Hmm, well, this kind of situation is extremely unique. Goisha has never behaved like this before. But with him alive, we have options, opportunities. Eternity is a long time, my dear. I say we bide our time and wait for the chance to gain the upper hand. Oh, but I want him dead so badly! And he will be in time, my fiery vixen. But patience first. No. Call off your mangy stray. Oh. Well, this has been fun. Oh, come on, man. Striker totally had him beat him. No. If he just ends up surviving because she calls it off. You gotta give the W to Striker. Finally hit a nerve, huh? I swear, if you go near her, I will destroy you. Big talk. But just that. Any last words, Goisha? Let's. <laughs> Will. That rodeo clown told you he ain't coming. Nobody is coming. Hello? Taser plans, darling. I need the prick alive. I'm kind of in the middle of killing him. Well, stop it. We need him alive to get some affairs in order. I will pay you more to spare him and bring him to us. <sighs> yes, ma'am. Glorious. Yeah, nah. I'm giving Striker a W. You totally well, had this. Good news for you, Feathers. Your royal oh. says she don't want you dead no more. Oh. But she didn't say what condition you had to be in. I think these reds might be a pretty trophy. Can't have you seeing me again, can we? Hmm? Shit, hold up. My camera battery! No! Okay, okay, okay. I might have to stop real quick. God damn! I am so incredibly sorry about that. My camera was on the verge of dying, so I had to plug it to the charger to make sure that it stays up. So, it's all good now, all taken care of. Let's get back to the fight and see how this episode concludes. Again, sorry about that. My camera can uh, can function for too long. <laughs> and yet, Striker really putting up a great fight here. Sequence right here. And you know what? He sure did. He sure did put up a great fight. Fucking hell, man. Striker is just something else. Oh, okay. Will Luna be able to talk again now? Oh, I remember how easy you are to choke the life out of, little one. Oh, harder.
I swear to God, if he's dead. Oh, fuck. You escape. Okay, okay, oh, okay. You escape. It's all good. You can't kill off a character after this. All right, you, oh, you can't. You guys actually managed. To I'm extremely relieved. Striker is still good. Uh, sir, are you okay? Oh, peachy. Yeah, no. Today's been wonderful. What the fuck was that about? Stolas got hurt bad. Stolas got what? <laughs> Ow. He can get hurt. He can get hurt, yeah. He can straight up die, too. I'm actually surprised Blitz didn't know about that. Why would he assume he's like immortal? I mean, okay, immortal in a way that he won't die naturally, but if you, I don't know, stab him in the throat, pretty sure that'd take his ass out. Still a complicated relationship there. Alright, no, yeah, that episode was a trillion times better than episode three. Okay. <laughs> Straight up, straight up, like, that was a banger of an episode. I... I would have to put in, like, my top three favorite Hell of a Boss episodes. For sure, like, I love the, the fight sequence, and I love the fact that they fleshed out the character of Striker, a character that I find absolutely fascinating. Um... Moxie fi finally stood up for himself. He put up a great fight. We saw it in the background. That was good to see. Um, so, yeah, just just amazing episode all around. I really, really love that one. I really appreciate this one. And then we got to see a new kingdom as well. Like, I didn't really mention it, but we saw, like, this ice kingdom. Looks pretty cool. So I love that we're visiting, like, different parts of the universe of Hell of a Boss. And that should take us to the end, unless there's something after the credits. No, nope, that, that's... there you go. Alright, cool, cool. Uh, Western Energy, Episode 4, Season 2. Like I said, one of the best, as far as I'm concerned, one of the very best episodes. I think it was solid from start to finish. Like, they knew exactly what they were going to, um explore in terms of the story, in terms of the characters, everything was very well executed. Um, so I think one of the more solid episodes of Hell of a Boss, and when it comes to, like I said at the very beginning, like the whole, the sex jokes, this, perfectly fine, like it wasn't overwhelming, at all, at all, like, we had some bits and pieces, um, but nothing as bad as episode 3. I, I, I gotta stop bashing it. This last time I do, okay? I'm gonna move on now. I'm moving on. Um, but this really was a breath of fresh air all around. I think this episode was fantastic. Um, and I'm really optimistic, like, for the end of season 2 now. Like, if it just keeps the same kind of momentum, the same kind of um, uh, good writing... Because I think this was a well-written episode, too. Like, if it just keeps that, that same kind of excellence, uh, then we probably will have a, an amazing season finale. Um, yeah. And uh, speaking of... Speaking of season finale... We never quite got the season finale, or at least, like, the full season finale of uh, the first season now, did we? Did we? Like, I feel like no one's, no one's talking about it anymore. Like, at this point, we just kind of gave up. <laughs> We just gave up on it. I feel like people moved on, and they're like... It'll probably never happen at this point, so let's just let's just stay focused on Season 2. 
Uh, but yeah, I, I really do wonder if we'll ever, ever get the full completion of the uh, finale of Season 1. And trust me, I understand a lot of people pointed out that it wasn't like too important to the plot. Uh, it was more of a bonus episode type thing. But the fact of the matter is, the point still stands that we, ne we didn't get the full thing. We didn't get the full thing at any, at any point. So I'm curious, I'm curious if we'll ever get it. Uh, but anyway, yeah, uh, tell me what you thought about this episode in the comment section. Like I said, personally, I thought it was one of the best episodes of Hell of a Boss. I'd, I'd have to, like, rewatch all the episodes released to really have a better ranking, but I would definitely say, like, this is in my top three. Definitely. Uh, because, to me, Striker was the highlight. Striker was the absolute highlight. Um, and the new voice actor is doing a terrific job with Striker. I think the, the, it really sounds threatening and really comes off as a great villain voice. Uh, and I'm always a sucker for villains. Like, whenever I'm reading books, watching TV shows, playing video games, I love villains. And I think Stryker is, like, one of the better villains in Hell of a Boss, uh, if not the best villain we have right now. So, uh, I'm, like, an instant fan of him. So, I'm loving what I'm seeing so far. So, keep up the great job, Vibzy Pup and company. They're doing a great job. And um, I'm excited to see what else is going to be coming for Hell of a Boss. But uh, that's going to be it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to join the Great Legions Discord server. And uh, take a look at my Patreon page as well if you want. It helps with all future content. And um, yeah, just again, let me know what you thought about this episode in the comment section. And I'll see you guys in whatever I do next. So with that, as always, take it away.